Ladies and gents of the world, we are uh, back with episode 5 of our uh, Live Large uh, vlog video uh, interviews with up and coming and inspiring people that I know and people that I, I want to know, if I'm quite honest. Uh, this uh, young lady. Young. This <laughs> Lady. <laughs> okay. This, this DJ. This DJ. Uh, you can, you can, you can, you can, you can use the young. We'll let you use the young. Yeah. Yeah. Trying, trying to mash up the flow. Even we just started. I'm going to behave myself. I'm That's why she said that even before this first record. <laughs> so this uh, young lady next to me is a very multi-talented uh, artist, I'm going to say. And give him a tenner. <laughs> <laughs> because there is nothing in my opinion that she can't turn a hand to and, and do it well uh, and this is a thank you i'll take that i'll take that dj thank figure you. or figure, figure, figure dj, DJ. yes uh, so let's not get it twisted <laughs> dj comes after the figure. yes it's like your last name yeah. like it's meant to be so, yeah. so this is figure dj hello, hello. hi welcome. guys uh welcome to the vlog Thanks first and foremost <laughs> uh this one for me has been one that i've, I've been itching to do okay uh, for, Scratch that itch. for a couple of reasons, <laughs> I've known you for a while. A very long so time. Yeah. There's lots of things that I probably haven't asked you in the past that okay. I, I might ask you today. Okay, I'm scared. Uh, <laughs> the second one, I think, the things that you've done over the years that I've been witness to. Yeah. Uh, not only musically, but things that people probably wouldn't expect you to be a part of. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I want to try and touch on a few of those bits. Yeah. And also. I think, even though you've just been telling me this year has been horrendous, <laughs> I, I've been following you as I always have done and always will do follow you on, online and we catch up every now and again and we talk and there's always something coming next. Yeah. And that really interests me because you don't stand still. I can't. You don't stand still, she's always on the go. <laughs> so let's start with, um, are you Darby born and bred? No. Born and bred born actually. Born and bred, no. Um, I consider myself from Derby now. I've yeah. been here the longest I've been anywhere. Um, I was born in Ghana, Edison. Um, moved to the Isle of Man. Uh, well, let's rewind. Ghana, London, Isle of Man, Derby. That's the short story. Okay. Isle um, of Man. Isle of Man. Why? <laughs> I say, My I don't disrespect anybody from Isle of Man. <laughs> but you it just seems don't like see a, it, really. It's a strange destination yeah. from Ghana. Hi to know. all the Manxies. Um, my dad was an accountant. Right, okay. He's retired now. And a tax free uh, Tax haven. Right, okay. So you could put two and two together. Just, <laughs> uh, 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 clean it up, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm not throwing any stereotypical types of the Ghanaian people out there, but. Well, the, yeah, there was me and my family. <laughs> yeah, put it that way. How was that? Um, um, I think it shaped me, it made me who I am. I can literally feel like I can go anywhere and just blend in <laughs> even so if did I you stand go to out. school there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went there school, high school there, so eleven Good. to yeah. A levels. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I, it opened my eyes to a different way of seeing things. I learned a lot. Um, yeah, big part shaped me. Um, yeah, yeah I never knew that. <laughs> Did you I, not? No, You're I never learning knew that. something new every, every day, day's yeah. a school day. <laughs> All of these, these interviews that we've been doing, we're, yeah. I'm on episode five now, so if yeah. you missed the last four, you can go back and catch go up. Go back on our YouTube and, and catch up. Subscribe on that. though. Yeah, that's you right. You won't miss it. Hit the button, mm -hmm. yeah. But I've learned things about each and every person. That's the beauty of doing, doing uh, these things. And learning that your journey started in, in Africa. Yeah and went to London yep. <laughs> and then the Isle of Man. <laughs> You've got to throw a curveball in there. <laughs> uh, no more curve than That's that. That's like my set, there's always a curveball. Yeah. And then to, to Derby. Yeah. And then so yeah. you got to Derby when? Uh, 96 I want to say. That yeah, I came to uni. Came to uni, yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, the plan was to head down to London but you know, Derby kind of sucks you in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've not returned, so, yeah. 20 years now, yeah, 20 so plus years. Here, yeah, 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 but, um, yeah, it feels like home, yeah. Derby really, so, yeah. yeah. I, I can relate to that. <laughs> so, when I came here, um, being ignorant and from East London, <laughs> uh, I didn't really think there was much of a scene. 
I know. Which, which I was... Londoners think there's nothing outside the M25. <laughs> and do you know what? I'm not even going to lie. That, that's what I thought. It's like, my friend was saying to me, why are you going there? Is yeah. it just not cows and sheep and, and all those kind of things? Yeah. But there's a lot more to, to Derby. But and, if you think of it like that, I came from somewhere that was it was the complete opposite. So I came from a country country yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to like, I remember walking down flipping um, Derby High Street, not High Street, what's it called, just in town, like seeing black people and I'm like, hi! Oh, wow. <laughs> and everybody's looking at me like, okay, what's wrong? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was, it was a bit of a culture shock. So yeah. I had the opposite experience. <laughs> yeah. I still went back to London. I still like, you know, got friends and family and everything back there. Yeah. I go, but to actually be living in a, what I thought was a big city yeah. was, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. coming from Isle of Man, this is a massive city, so, but when I got here, I, I quickly discovered that there was such a bag of talent in yep. the city, yeah. and the I want to throw out some names. stuff, people, yeah. talent that is actually here, it, it was, it was ridiculous. Immense. Absolutely immense. All walks of um, entertainment, every, you, you go ahead, listen. So, I, I was lucky enough to, to meet Baby J, who I knew a little bit about from my London days and okay. UK hip hop scene, and I quickly came across you, yep. uh, uh, Ruckus, yep. uh, Shades, yep. Yokes, Yogi, Steady, <laughs> yep. uh, Alex Blood, yep. Mr. Jones, yep. uh, so, much. <laughs> so much, so much, so much. The, the off the hook boys, Hudson yep. and oh my gosh, yeah, yeah Dave Shout H and, yep. and, and James yep, yep, and those yep, guys yep. there, Gordon Gidge, yep. big up. They were one of the first people to actually bring me through DJing wise as well. Right, okay. Yeah, I remember like it's how I got my guns, carrying the big record boxes up to Five Lamps. Yeah. And, um, doing, I, I played I think two off the hooks. Yeah. 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 yeah like, oh my gosh, you forget that you've done stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We're just starting in this journey right now. And I remember first, if I remember properly, I first probably saw you DJ at somewhere like the Five Lamps. Okay. No, yeah. You booked light. me for um, Gatehouse. The, the first time I saw you DJ was at the Gatehouse, gatehouse. but it was somebody else's event. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure if it was it Space was, Space or something I along think, those lines. I don't know whose event it was, but we had like Wiley come down. Yeah. Um, and what was his crew? What was it Page Girl? Oh, um, is it Page Girl? No, they're not Page Girl. They are. Oh no! This happens with age. <laughs> anyway, Wiley came, um, and that was that was an epic night. I think that was the first time I met you. I think. It, yeah, possibly. Uh, but I remember the, the set, and I used to be so random though. I've. If I, was she playing side by side with Ruckus at that time? Yeah, we used to go back to back all the time. Because yeah. he taught me. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, it was DJ Ruckus and then I literally just kind of just used to come on. <laughs> but it was very unique because in London there wasn't many, well, that I knew of on the circuit that I was involved in, there wasn't yeah. many female DJs. And okay. I thought that was dope. Yeah. And it was so unique at yeah. the time. <laughs> and it's still that way now. Yeah. There's a I lot more coming up. There but is. the recognition is especially not being in London okay. or Manchester or yeah. Liverpool. Yeah. Um, Shout out to DJ Ezra. She's I think, in the pub club in as well. I think if people came to Derby and said, well, I don't know female, yours, female DJs, your name will be the first name that, that rolls off. <laughs> oh, thank you. Because I don't know anybody else there that's female. <laughs> so you've got such a niche market here. Yeah. And learning your trade from early doors. Yeah coming through and I start seeing the name pop up on this event, that event, <laughs> this event, that event, right through the years. I feel really lucky because consistently, like literally for like 20 years I've, I've been I've been able to do it. So yeah. I feel quite blessed. But you do know sense. why that is though. <laughs> I've been lucky. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Not at all. I, I, I'm going to have to disagree on that. Because if you want them up to doing the job, you wouldn't have got the job in the first place. Yeah, thank you, appreciate it. Your, your talent and the fact that we've had conversations about, figure, what do you play? <laughs> and we've had this conversation many times. It's so hard for me to say though, and literally. I just love music. <laughs> she's not stuck in uh, You couldn't say she was a hip hop DJ, an RB DJ, a house DJ, DB, garage, whatever it is, she's going to turn her hand to it. She does it well. Yeah. So that's a real 
bonus and, yeah. and, and that's, that's why you get probably helped me along the way because I can literally be flexible um, and I'm not scared to just do it and try. So it's about expressing you and who yeah. you are. As, yeah, as I think that's, that's a big part yeah. of what I do. We can all have the same music, but it's how you play it. That's right. It's your yeah. personality, yeah. It's, it's the skill set. Especially at this day and age. Yeah. <laughs> because back in the day when we was going to BPM, and you, if you didn't get there in time and that set of vinyl had gone, it was, it was gone. You didn't have that track. Nope. So, no. Nope. Even going home with the white period. labels and not yeah. knowing what's on there, do you know what I mean? And only 50 people in the country have got that specific yeah. song remix, do you know what I mean? There was quite so, a big uh, DJ hall in Derby yeah. like, when, I, when I arrived. Yeah. And it got to the point that I had to get really close to the guys in the shop. Okay. Yeah, make sure that I didn't miss out on yeah. stuff. So. Yeah. Uh, that kept me at the top of my game and okay. I'm sure it was the same for yourself. I was, again, um, through Rockless again, so we were on the street teams, again his links with, with different people, we used to literally just get sent stuff, yeah. so that was a big part of it, but you couldn't beat going to the shop and just, and digging, you know, yeah. rifling it through, and yeah. the amount of times I literally had, one moment sticks in my mind, you remember Buster Rhymes, ooh ha, ooh ha, I didn't know what song it was. And all I could remember is the man going, woo ha, woo! And I was like, in the shop going, woo ha, woo ha! And that's all I could remember. And he knew exactly who I meant yeah. and, and got, you know, got well, the that, that, That's their job, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. There was no Spotify or. No, do you know what no. I mean? no. <laughs> Google. No, no, we'll get around to that in a bit. <laughs> uh -oh. So, you've done some major gigs. Do you want to talk about what sort of gigs you Oh my gosh, I should really, I've, this is me all over, I don't prep anything. Um, I've played internationally, I've played on Where? radio, um, I've done Dubai, Cyprus, uh, Greece, uh, I can't think, um, Egypt, um, yeah, just randoms. Um, I'm Midlands based, I've done London, I've done Manchester, Work for big brands. Um, who I work for? Topshop. Uh, why is my mind just literally gone blank? It's always <laughs> the happened. camera's on. That's why. That's what it is. Yeah, <laughs> I've, 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 I've worked with quite a few people. It's only really sometimes I'll, I'll like go through um, old photos, flyers, or whatever. My bio, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I think, oh wow, I forgot. Do you know, yeah, I did that. Yeah. Um, even the wildly thing, I've, I've completely forgot all about yeah, that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Until now, um, Westwood, Charlie Slaw. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've done that. I know you did one quite <laughs> recently in Leicester. Um, Last year was that? that too funky. Oh my gosh. Roxanne Chante. Right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Because <laughs> I, 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 I was elsewhere she was and I so couldn't make it. Nice. She was amazing. And like to actually, like, because obviously I was born in the 70s, so the 80s hip hop scene and everything. Well, let's rewind. I was in the Isle of Man. Bobby Brown was everything to me. Yeah. <laughs> but obviously I was aware of the hip hop scene and yeah. everything that was going on. And she was one of those names from back then. So to actually sit down and get to have a chat with her and then to yeah. play for her like yeah. yeah yeah i salute her it's amazing picked up lots of gems from her yeah how, how, how could i forget yeah, I do you know what it. we're gonna finish this interview and i'm gonna go oh my gosh i remember this person oh my gosh i forgot well, about that person it's always, always time for a part two <laughs> always time for yeah. a part two so <laughs> your your current music uh journey yeah how, how's that how's that going um I touched on this with you a little bit earlier. This year, 2019, has been one of the most challenging, that's a nice way to put it, yeah. years for me, um, professionally, personally, um, inspirationally, uh, spiritually, um, and I feel blessed. I've come through the other end. I kind of feel like I'm winding down on 2019 yeah. so that I can give it that. I, can come, I don't feel like I'm figuring it. So I'm waiting to become figure. Well, I'm not waiting. I'm actively doing things and trying to get back to what I feel is me. Okay. Um, and a big part of that, everybody knows. I keep mentioning it because it, it hurt me, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I got burgled. Um, they took everything, literally. So I had to. yeah, I had to start from scratch. Um, and yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> but it's not a woe is me thing, it's like literally the day after it was done, um, 
again, this is why I feel so lucky, like the people around me that helped me. I was able to literally go to a gig the next day because like, shout out to Lucas, he literally brought all his equipment, his hard drive and everything, and, and literally came to the gig with me, said, I don't want any money off you. Um, and I was still able to play, do you know what I mean? So yeah. I've had such a strong network of DJs around me that have literally, anything I've needed to get back on my feet, yeah. They've been there for me and I can't thank them enough, so thank you all, seriously. Yeah. Darby is nice like <laughs> Darby is nice like that because it, uh, for those who don't know, there's a little WhatsApp group popping off which yeah. this lady started. <laughs> um, and she's giving other local DJs work. Um, and she's pulling that network together. I don't think she really understands how important that sort of thing is at this moment in time. Yeah. Especially with the state of play with nightclubs in Derby as well because there's not really many nightclubs left but there are venues where people can get the opportunities and some DJs will just keep those for themselves uh, but but you, you share you share and that's very rare I just believe in giving um, yeah. what you put out there I don't do things to get anything back um, but again I've just got such lovely people around me I just I just want to see everyone eat and everyone do well so why did you start DJ what was the um okay so when I first came to uni um some of my housemates were DJs okay. and it was literally like I saw them doing it and I was like I'm gonna do this I literally I just I just wanted to do it and I, I tried and I just didn't understand the whole point yeah. like yeah you need to get this song mixed in with this song and it needs to blend and there needs to be some kind of flow to it I just didn't get it but that's where Ruckus came in so yeah. when he actually ex took the time to explain everything to me um, this was like a year I met him a year after that um, and even then I still didn't get it. <laughs> it took me a year of being in my bedroom, because literally I went and bought Deck straight away. Yeah. I had the same like five sets of records and I just used to have, um, da -da -da -da. it was, I really know how it feels to be <laughs> stressed out, stressed out. I had two versions of that, just mixing them into each other. Shout out to Tribe Called Quest. Back to back, back to back, back to back, back to back. And um, I think it was 702 Stilo as well. Yeah. And it was those four records, literally, just mixing them back, 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 back. Um, and then, literally, it was like a eureka moment one day. You just went, I it. get it, I understand! It. Yes. And that was it. That was literally it. Um, I never thought it'd be a career. Right. I never thought I'd be in my 40s still doing it. I never thought it would take me around the world. I never thought it would let me meet the people that I've met. Um, getting more than um, yeah well yeah it, it's such a giving thing music is so giving it is and it's so therapeutic as well yeah. it really is and I think a big part of it has been because I felt like that was taken away from me this year yeah that's where I struggled um, and now I'm kind of getting back into it but I actually have a new passion now as well <laughs> Let's not, not rub me for, let's not, that's my job to get to know this. My job as an interviewer to tell you where we're going next. Uh, but but, yeah. So, this year, yeah. even though it's been a testing oh, year. Yeah. Testing it showed me I can't give up, no matter how I feel. No matter what, you know, adversities are placed in front of me. It's kind of what I'm supposed to do. And obviously last year I took the plunge. Um, and actually said I'm going to do this. Um, so I gave up my day job um, and became self-employed. So I am now my business. Yeah. This is my mortgage right here. <laughs> if I don't work, I don't eat, which probably I shouldn't. Um, joking, I'm not condoning eating disorders <laughs> and things like that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, See, I've lost my train of thought now. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, so yeah, Figure DJ is, is my business now, so. So, Figure DJ the business. Yes. Um, are you in the process of mentoring any other females to come through on the scene? Um, kind of. I'm one of those people, if anybody has any questions, if they need anything, they can come to me anyway. So, um, and my phone's always on if anybody needs anything. So generally, I do that for people around me anyway. A um, uh, lady did reach out. I mentioned her earlier, DJ Ezra. So I've been giving her little tips and hints. But she is so driven. 
she reminds me of myself yeah. um, 20 years ago in terms of actually just wanting to go out there and do everything. So she doesn't really need me. <laughs> She's just getting No, 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 I'm not having that. If she didn't feel she could tap into your experience, yeah. then she wouldn't have reached out in the first place. But she reaches out to lots of people, yeah. so. I yeah, but like you're one just... of those people because the experience you can bring to her as another female yeah. in this game. Yeah. Because you're in this game. Yeah. 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 It's, it's very valuable. Yeah. So don't underplay yourself. Yeah. This is something she's always done. <laughs> Underplayed her own value. Uh, I don't know any other female DJ. I do know other female DJs, but the ones that work how you work yeah. and how hard you work mm. and put some of the man to shame. How many series uh, of the uh, mixtape is there? Oh gosh, I don't know. I literally had to stop counting. <laughs> because but that's the thing, like literally, I haven't done I did a mix the other day, which is coming out soon. Um, and wait, I used wait, to, I let's used to, go back. Mm. How many was there before you stopped doing it? Because I know when I was clicking on, well, this there is was the thing. one every three or four days. Well, this is the thing. Um, I have different series. So Super Mix was like, I think it's about 200 of those. Uh, <laughs> but they're spread out all over the place. And don't forget as well, um, I was on SoundCloud. Yeah. And the first part, um, again, I had about 300 odd mixes on there. I had, um, was it that? I think close to a million. I was, I was getting follows, listens, everything on there. Yeah. And then obviously the copyright thing hit in. So I lost yeah. all of those mixes. Yeah, bad thing. <sighs> Don't ever put me in front of whoever created SoundCloud. I'm, a, I'm, I'm all about love, but he yeah, can get it. That, yeah. <laughs> no, it was literally, literally, imagine, yeah. I'm downloading, getting ready for work, and then I just start seeing notices, your mix has been pulled, your mix has been pulled, you've got a warning, you've got a warning, literally one after another. Wow. And literally within a space of a couple of hours, they're taking everything down. Wow. And I, I was hurt. I was hurt. There's lots of um, points in my career where I can look back and say, yeah, that, that was a step back. That's another one of those. Yeah. Another one was leaving my laptop um, on top of my car and driving off. Wow. This was back in the early 2000s. And I did actually, that was the only time I retired. I retired for two years. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so embarrassed. Like I was just, yeah. So I was like, no, I'm not meant to be doing this. Life is a learning curve. <laughs> it really and is. It never, that curve it never really, stops. It really, 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 really is. And you never know what's around the corner. No, you never know. True. And true. you just, you just have to keep going and live each day as if Literally really yeah. I, I remember having a conversation with you a while back and being embarrassed about the lack of mixes that I've got up in life. <laughs> uh, because I just didn't have the time. Or, yeah. or sometimes when, when you're DJing, like, the love for the game kind of can Comes be, and goes. Yeah. be a bit wavy like sometimes anything, due to your circumstances in yeah. life, etc. Et but like, you're even though you're telling us about tough times, I never even saw that. All oh, I saw okay. was mix popping, mix popping, <laughs> notification, another mix. This has been the quietest I've been probably my whole career. Um, and you still see me. I'm working every week consistently, yeah. Yeah. but the little things, the vlogs, the um, mixes, um, the CDs, um, they've all kind of ground to a halt, but I'm, I'm going to come back. Literally, I've, I've, I've no doubt, yeah. got new equipment. Um, I'm back up and running mixtape wise. Like I said, I did one yesterday. I listened to it a little bit today. Um, but it's giving me a step back. It's, it's giving me that. Yeah. 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 So, so I'm going to be annoying you all with notifications right, again. That's all right. I look forward to it. It like, <laughs> keeps my car fresh. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so this year, mm -hmm. uh, you started, uh, which I think was a, a very good thing. Uh, the Yo Brunch. Yes. Tell us about the Yo Brunch. Okay, so Yo Brunch was born out of what we felt was a necessity and a love. Um, we wanted to basically take it back to the good old days. I'm showing the age. When old people used to say, oh, it was better back then. I used to be like, oh, shut <laughs> up. And now I'm one of them. Um, <laughs> but it was born from that. Just yeah. getting dressed up, going out, having fun, and it being about the music. Yeah. And I feel a lot a lot of that has been lost, um, not through anybody's fault, um, it just turned into what it is, do you know what I mean? Um, and there's not really been in Derby anyway, that place for 
people of a certain age um, <laughs> to go out, shake their two foots and um, party without fear of bumping into their kids, friends, yeah. do you know what I mean, yeah. and, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it was literally just born from a love of music um, and we just wanted to create something special. I saw, I, obviously, I would have attended yeah. or even been a Tried part of it. to get you in there, yeah. But <laughs> I, I, I was working elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. But we're um, looking at the possibility of doing some more. But again, um, the last one kind of happened when the whole burglary, I got burned, I had an allergic reaction. Yeah. When I tell you 2019 has been... You can't wait to see the back of it. Me! Oh. So, um, yeah, we're regrouping and it's basically, so it's me, um, my sister Diamond Doll and uh, Kai Williams as well. Yeah, I saw Kai. Yeah. And we're, we're going to be catching up with Kai, trust me on that one, she's doing some really interesting things yeah. as well. Yeah. Community work, which is really positive. Yeah. Uh, That's my bestie. <laughs> and, and, and Diamond Dolls is, is... She's my baby sis, I love her so much, I'm so proud of her. She's, work, she's working hard and yeah. she's, she's made herself a business. Yeah. Uh, she started from... Scratch. And, and now she's one of, one of the top... Uh, business women in the world, yeah. Business women yeah. in, in, in this part of the world. If, oh, I can't even go into the plans that she's got, but she's another one, she's been there for me. Um, not just on a sister level, like, yeah we're blood and we'll always be there for each other no matter what but over and beyond that do you know what I mean so yeah. she's kept me going she's motivated me again the whole spiritual side of thing people don't really see that side to her yeah but that, that's there and she's 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 got a head on her as well yeah, we're definitely so. gonna be catching up with those people yeah. anyway in, yeah in the near gotcha. future I'll be walking around the background going <laughs> but as, as, as you said um, this year has been terrible yeah. for you and we're gonna keep touch on that because yeah. it says it's been terrible yeah. So but, what is? But we have to keep going. Yeah, and that's and what you do. You thankful. keep pushing, yeah, and that's what's inspiring because you never stop. Yeah, it's inspiring. The energy is inspiring. <laughs> no matter what's going on, you. I keep made going. sure I didn't have any coffee there today. So I did that for we did uh, BBC. I got down to like the finals so last why week. Why are you stealing my questions? Sorry. Why, why, what? I'm gonna shut up. You ask away. <laughs> so, in this order, we're gonna speak about. Something I'm just a bit naughty, uh, sorry. Dotsy by it's design. Dotsy by design. And then we're going to talk take, about the BBC. I'm, take my um, Born Big jacket off. Yeah, and much appreciated. One of the first persons to buy from us. Had to. Absolutely supported. Got to support. Small business. I love support. what you're doing. Seriously. Yeah, we're trying. We're Seriously. Right, trying. Ooh, I'm cold. So. That's something about me. I'm always cold as well. Dotsy by, by design. Dotsy by design. Which popped up on my Instagram. And you were like, what that is I was this? Like, <laughs> What, something else? <laughs> what, you can do that as well? Come on, like, tell the people about Dotsy by Design. Okay, so Dotsy by Design was born amidst of the whole dark, I've been burgled, I don't know if DJing is what I want to do anymore. Literally, I woke up um, one day and I was like, I want to sew. I don't know where it came from, just randomly. Mm. Just said, I want, I want to sew. This was June, so this was like four months ago. Yeah. Um, so I said to my mum, um, I have a sewing machine for my birthday, please. <laughs> and she got me a sewing machine for my birthday. And ever since then, when I tell you, now I'm fighting between DJing and sewing. Like, I was up till three o'clock last night making a new outfit. Um, I'm at that point now where literally when I go out, I don't feel right if I'm not wearing my own store. Okay. This is me right here, right now. Um, this is well. Um, so <laughs> I do earrings, I do jewellery, I do um, bags, I do clothing, um, um, basically self-taught. I've been to two lessons Okay. Um, and I just found out I'm actually good at it. <laughs> You've done two lessons. I, yeah. I, I don't know if this will match up the camera, here, <laughs> but if you could just stand. Oh, can I? Oh, it's a jumpsuit. And that's after two lessons, so that's like... <laughs> Mad progress. <laughs> yeah. Like most people after two sessions, two sessions of, of sewing are still trying to thread the needle. Yeah. Well, that's what I, I, I didn't, I didn't know if I'd even be able to do it. But now, literally, it's like a vision has come to me. I have a vision of what I want to do. I know within five years where I'm going to be, what I'm going to be doing, and it's going to be within fashion and design. Right. So um, I'm even looking into going back to uni and trying to do something with it that way. But it's that much of a, I feel compelled to do it. It's. Yeah. 
it just just makes me happy literally yeah. like it's that the same feeling i get from making the mix i get from yeah. from zoe and it's literally um yeah that's, 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 that's amazing because <laughs> when, when, when we started this we're not as talented as you we are we've got talented people designing for us yeah um, but again i love what you're doing i love the concept behind it and again you've grown it literally just from a concept yeah. do you know what i mean and yeah that's yeah, we appreciate. I love that. what you're doing as well. Yeah. That. Like, like I say, we're talented designers yeah. that are, are bringing our visions to life. Mm. Uh, but I saw her ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have showed you my bag as well. Never mind. Yeah, we can time. get that in at the end. <laughs> so I also saw that you was uh, trying to go uh, radio. Yes. The radio thing. Yes, 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 yes. There was a competition uh, with BBC New Voices. Um, so they had like open auditions again mad story um, <laughs> I woke up and I, I was like everyone kept sending me the link yeah literally everyone I know and his dog was sending me that? the link <laughs> why is that I don't know what's wrong with you people um, you need to go for this you need to go for this and I was like hmm because it's kind of an X Factor type thing and you probably gathered from this my confidence isn't the best at at the most of times. Really? So <laughs> I didn't want to go for something and it knock me. Yeah. Because then that would just be months worth of me trying to build myself back up again. So I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. Um, and I just woke up on the morning of the audition. I was like, now I'm not going. It got to like three o'clock. The audition's closes at four. I was like, I'm going. <laughs> so I went down there, had nothing prepped, literally just went. They said to tell a story for 60 seconds. As you may have noticed, I can talk. Um, <laughs> so I talked for 60 seconds. Um, they pulled me up on not prepping because I ran out of time, didn't finish my story. But I think I'd had some coffee that morning. So my energy uh, was just like through the roof. Yeah. Um, so I got through the next round. Um, and the coffee was actually, I think, what actually killed me off in the next round. Literally drank like a tub of coffee. Wow. You know, those canister things. Yeah. Because it was in the morning. I'm not a morning person. I'm a DJ. Yeah, I'm a DJ. <laughs> for, for that night I'm not a morning start, person. Yeah. And the day started at nine. So I was like, right, okay, I'm going to drink this before I get in. And I'll be fine. Literally, I was bouncing off the walls. Literally. Everyone's like, are you all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> if I could do it again, I wouldn't have any coffee. So how did it end up? Um, I got down to the finals. Um, final five. Um, and it was a great learning curve. So I learned Final five out of how many? Uh, I think about 90. 90 people? Yeah. That's, that's yeah, really good. That's right. yeah. It's something like so, a small, not a small, small amount of people, mm -hmm. but 90 people going for one job. Yeah. But that's a lot of people yeah. to beat that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm proud of myself because I didn't let it knock me. Yeah. I had my moment. I was like, you're not going to knock me. Um, but again, that's where my sister comes in. <laughs> Um, no, she didn't. Sometimes you always need that person to say, come on, yeah. like, behave yourself and yeah. go on with it. Yeah. yeah, but she knows. She knows when to laugh with me about something and when to actually be serious with me about yeah. something. And everybody needs those people in the yeah, yeah, So for sure, yeah. I really, really credit her for 2019 getting me through a lot. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you were supported. <laughs> Thank you. Glad, sometimes, <laughs> but you like, support me too, do you know what I mean? And you're another one. If I need something, even if I haven't spoken to you for like, I don't know, a couple of months, I can pick up the phone. Not even, hello, you got this. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> and you won't take it personally. Um, Never, and I can phone you and literally not have anything to say. Just say, do you know what I mean? But I'm not scared to come to you. No, and you, I know, appreciate no, you should be. The you should be. You should be. Like, you know that, I mean? so. And that's what I, I mean about this. This whole when I, when I moved from Derby, to, from London to Derby, mm. uh, I came here literally just me and my family at the time. Yeah. And I didn't know nobody. Yeah, so. I was this guy from London coming to run a club and blah blah blah. Mm. And I'm still kind of about yeah. well, look, you know, you know. <laughs> how it went. I was just a guy from London trying to make my way in the world. That's yeah. how it was. Okay. But people took me in. And taught me on value, yeah. and uh, and that still goes to this day. Yeah. And I bumped into Marvin outside of not seeing for like three years. It's <laughs> like I, I hadn't seen him yesterday. Yeah. Do you know oh, what I mean? So and that's what Derby's like when, when you network. live good with people, though. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? These friendships and relationships, they kind of they stay with you, and you, again, you just never know who's going to do well, and do you know what I mean? And come back and be able to bring you through, or. Um, 
and just just even just seeing your friends doing well, yeah. whether you're part of it or not, in itself is is. I think in a lot of part of the country there's certain people that will look at something and think, oh, he's doing well and start a little hate thing. Yeah. Like, that's well, there is hate. Here. Yeah, it's natural. It doesn't really seem to nature. happen here that much, though. I think it does. <laughs> I know of. Yeah. The, the thing with hate a lot of the times is it's behind your back. Well, <laughs> yeah, I probably hate this. I'm aware yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's right. But anyway. we don't. We don't, we don't take on that bad energy. Yeah. No, exactly. So what's, what's the plan? Tell me what the plan is. I want to so, know what the plan is for your, your brunch, mm -hmm. uh, Dotsy by Design, yeah. uh, and, and your next move. Okay. What's your next move? So I am getting my advent mixes together. So that's the month of December. Every day there's a mix, uh, which you can download. Talking, talking. It's like 25, 30 Actually, hold on, not the whole of December. It's So it's like an advent calendar. So yeah. every day up until Christmas. Yeah. So it'll be it'll be like 24 and then a bonus one. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, uh, like 25 minutes to bag out in, in 25 days. That's Time energy. management, even though I'm always late. Um, oh my gosh, that was, that was oh, 100 days of scratch. Yeah, you helped me with yeah. that as well, oh my god. That was one of the toughest things I've ever done. Yeah. That was hard, trying to get a video. Now you know why I'm not a scratch dude. <laughs> See what I mean? Trying to get something ready every single day, no matter what you do, no matter where you are, and practice. That was hard. Yeah. That was hard. At least with the mixes, I can bang out two, yeah. but I can release them. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. At a time. So, um, I'm going to carry on with my residencies. I'm here at Gaslight um, most Saturdays. I do a lot of that's weddings. In the, that's in the city of Derby. Yes, For Derby city centre. Um, or to you too. Um, I'm joking. <laughs> um, so I'm at Revs on a fr Thursday and Friday. I'm on Kemet FM. Um, and I've got lots and lots of little projects coming up and collaborations with people as well, okay. which I can't really speak on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we appreciate yeah, that. Um, but we always try and get yeah, out. Yeah, if you follow me at doing. Figure DJ on everything, um, you can subscribe to my iTunes, my Insta. Um, if you just Google at Figure DJ, I come up, so make sure you subscribe. Uh, Dutsy by Design, um, the idea is basically just to get my skill set up even more keep creating um, again collaborations with people I've got a pop-up shop coming in December Where? Where? That's <laughs> um, Diamond Dolls I'm gonna probably do one here um, I'm in talks with Revolution as well at the moment about doing um, like a swap shop type thing okay, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah so we'll get a uh, fashion show yeah. um, and what else did you want to know to mention graphics I've, I've not done the graphics anymore <laughs> We want to know, is there going to be a Christmas show? A bunch of people yo, brunch, yo, brunch, yo, brunch. I'm not too sure if we're going to do a Christmas one or if we're going to start the year fresh with a bang. Okay. So we're in talks about that at the moment. Um, but again, follow Yo Brunch UK and all the details will be up on there as well. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to draw episode five to a close. It's been a pleasure as Thank always. you for having me. Uh, I hope I didn't talk too much rubbish and scare no, all this of is you what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's about. We want to get to inspire uh -huh. and, and reach people because this is what it's all about, inspiring the next generation of, in this case, female DJ or female designer, yeah. uh, as well as a business person. Yeah. Just encouraging you to do whatever you want to do. When you can see it, you can achieve it. Ask, believe, receive. It's written on my arm. It's under my shirt. But yeah, born big. Go, yeah. So we'll be on uh, YouTube, uh, born big, live large. Uh, follow us, subscribe, push the button. Also, uh, Instagram TV, follow us on there. Everything will go up on Share, platform, share, share, are. comment, comment. And share, comment. comment, and follow because this is the only way we grow and we'll Support keep bringing you people time. who are living large, in yeah. our opinion. So, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Aww. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got. <laughs> that was fun.